Hello and welcome back to the channel. Recently on a Control Alls Reese video, he assembled a robotic dog powered by a Raspberry Pi. He got his sent to him for free. I bought mine and I can't wait to get started. I'm not going to bore you with a step-by-step -step instructional video. I'm going to assemble it. I'm going to program it. I'm going to see how it works, and then we'll come back and talk about it. I can't wait to get started. You think you can hear the washing machine? So... Initial impressions now that the robot is complete. Uh, calling it a robot might be a bit of a stretch. It is definitely not autonomous. Uh, there is an app, but it's a glorified remote control. I mean, you have to be on the same network. So for all intents and purposes, it might as well be wireless. I thought maybe you could like kind of leave it on a counter and check on it or just have it sitting there plugged in and check in when you're not at the, when you're not home hey you can't do that so if you think you're getting an r2d2 like robot you're going to be sadly disappointed when it comes to assembly the instructions were accurate and straightforward they were not hard to follow but i gotta tell you there are a lot of little pieces the nuts and bolts in this thing are absolutely tiny. The screws, unbearably tiny. For an older person like me, seeing them <laughs> was tricky. Uh, but that being said, there are plenty of extras in the kit. So if you do drop one, which I did on more than one occasion, you've got spares. You don't need any extra tools. The kit comes with a couple of screwdrivers and a small wrench, and it did the trick. I didn't once use any of my tools, which are, you know, going to be a lot better, but I wanted to try to stick with what came with the kit, and they were more than passable, definitely usable. So something else you can't forget is that it does require a Raspberry Pi and an SD card, which does not come in the kit. So. Be prepared to add that into your budget when you are buying this. My total assembly time was roughly eight hours, maybe a little bit more. Granted, I make a lot of mistakes when I do these kinds of things, so your time very probably will be better. Is that my laundry there? Yes. Maybe we can crop it out. Okay, so all in all, it was a fun build for a not very practical robot, but a fun toy. So thank you for watching. Please, if you would, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And until next time, I'll see you later.